Group Congressman tonight. Republican Trey Radel clinching the race this evening with 62% of the vote. And this is to Jim Roach's 35%. This is with 94% of precincts reporting. Four in your corners, Gabrielle Serrano is at the Trinon Hotel in Bonita Springs, where Trey Radel and his supporters have gathered. Patrick, Emily, a lot of energy here. A big night at the Trianon Hotel in Bonita Springs where Trey Radel just gave his victory speech. And let me tell you, there are more than 100 people here. If you take a look behind me, they are enjoying the music, the fun, the festivities. They are sipping cocktails that are eating finger food. They are just enjoying the revelry of what is tonight. And here with me, I have the man himself, Trey Radel. Congratulations. This is such an honor. Thank you. It is. It's, it's an honor. It's a privilege. I'm, I'm humbled. I have a smile that's going to stretch from year to year for a while. Uh, but unquestionably, the real work now begins. And, uh, and we have a heck of a lot of work in Washington to do, to get the economy back on track, to stop the gridlock, and find ways to get the economy going again, to get our real estate market to bounce back here and bring jobs. And on that note, you know, as a soon-to-be Cub Congressman heading to Washington, how are you going to reach across the aisle you know, uh, be a part of the Washington scene while staying true to your roots here in Southwest Florida. Well, my roots are unquestionable here. I'm so proud to have uh, a built up and sold a business here uh, in Southwest Florida, to have worked in media for so long with the trust and support of the people. Um, I am a Southwest Floridian through and through. Going to Washington, yes, it is imperative that we find ways to work together. Senator Marco Rubio is a great example of someone who is a conservative Republican but has found pieces of legislation to sponsor with Democrats, saying that our problems are not about rich or poor or, or racism or old or young. Our problems are numbers. And if we can work together to solve those problems, paying down our debt and getting our economy back on track, we're going to be in good shape. And is there anyone in Washington who, who is a mentor to you today who you may reach out to for advice? Uh, some on the Republican Study Committee in particular. Um, Senator Rubio has been a very good friend uh, on the Senate side uh, for a long time. And uh, I, I have a tremendous amount of respect uh, for what he's done. And I will stay in close contact with him. And Trey, is there anything you want to say to your challengers who lost tonight to Jim Roach, to Brandon Smith? Yes. Um, Brandon is a great guy. Jim Roach is a great man. Jim Roach served our country as a veteran. My hat goes off to all veterans uh, in this country and our lovely community. Jim Roach is a great man. And Jim, along with other Democrats, will always have my ear. My door will always be open. I, again, I'm a conservative Republican, but I am willing to talk with and listen and find ways to work with anybody. And that is a way to reach out to the people, for sure. Trey, thank you so much, and again, congratulations on tonight. Thank you, thank you. And again, we are here at uh, Trey Riddle's Victory Party, where there are just so many people who have stayed, who have lingered, who are enjoying this evening. And his staff, his team tells me that they plan to head to Washington on January 3rd for Riddle's swearing-in. In Bonita Springs, this is Gabrielle Saran, Fox 4, in your corner.